everybody, it's Phoebe. Today I'm going to do a video on gel nail extensions. Um, everything I'm using today is from Cocoist. Um, from the Excel Builder Clear. And we're going to use the Platinum Bond as well. So you'll have an idea how to do gel nail extensions. Now with the Cocoist, you can find this either on Nail Hub or you can go to cocoist.com forward slash USA. And it comes right out of Texas. So with no further ado, let's get started. There we go. Open everything back up. If I don't pour it out of the container. All right, itsy bitsy amounts here. There we go. Crazy damn thing. Okay, dokie. And back into the pot. There we go. Bring it up this way so I can find the channel. I'm going to bring it up to three like I have been. Okay, start to cure it. Three, there it goes. One, two, three, four, five. All right.
and I'll cure it for the 30 seconds. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. Let's take it off. There we go. Hey, that came out pretty good. Sticky there. Move you around. That's one good thing about this stuff too. It's shiny, so when you have it in the light, you can see where you've missed and where you haven't missed. It's all good. Okay. That looks good. Doesn't look like I have to really flip it over at all. But we will just for poops and giggles. Perfect. All right. 30 seconds. Just one more nails to go, guys. Just one more to go. Oh my goodness. Are we done? I say that's the longest 30 seconds. Be nice if I'd have turned the lamp on. There we go. Okay. Perfect. All right. For now, we're just going to go ahead and get to the last one. And then I'll file them both up. Ouch. I'm telling you, with using all this hand sanitizer at work, my skin feels like a Brillo pad.
Nope, it's not the weight. Watch the pinky be the pistol. Okay. Perfect. All right. Our little dab will do us. We're back to the bond. Another reason, another thing I've I've come to like about Cocoist um, is you can buy this bonder right here in the bottle. Or you can buy it in the pot. I bought both. But let's just say BB likes the one in the pot. To me, I feel like I've got more control about what I'm taking out and what I'm putting on. And it's not a glob. It's not an overkill. And I'm not wasting it. So, with that being said... And you use the same bonder to put on your nail gel. Um, you don't have to, it, it covers all the Cocoist products. And that's what I love about it. You don't have to have a special bond for doing the extensions you don't have to have a special bond another different type of bond for your um nail gels um which i think is kind of cool i mean it takes care of any product by cocoist come on you got to get off of there thank you you're being a dickens today. All right, we got to get you up to the three now. I know I'm filing you down some, but we got to get you there first. There we go. I just didn't put enough on there, I guess. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. Come on. Yeah. I'm going to put you back over there. tell you these things are so god bless it hard to maneuver Crunchy probably doesn't help that BB's got carpal tunnel on top of everything else right now but when I, I kept playing with them and playing with them <laughs> and these crazy things would actually I feel like they feel like they're loosening up because, oh my goodness, for the longest time, it was like, oh my God, I'm going to have to go back eating some Wheaties because I've turned into a weenie. And the only thing cameraman can do is laugh at me. But I will say, though, even though I'm making the um, coffin style nails. They're not the true coffin nails because they're shorter. Um, one day I'll be able to wear them like they should be worn but for now it will do.
Oh, hey. Well, Bonnie, good Lord, woman, get with the program. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right. Now, we just put the rest of this on. And then BB will get everything filed. And then get it to the length that I want. We already know it's going to be a coffin style. I just love the way it just flows. I don't think I ever did a video on me doing my own nails with the acrylic. I'll have to do that. Now with the acrylic, this is kind of taking me a bit of a time. But like I said, this is only my second time actually doing this on myself. I haven't done it on anybody else, just me. So, with that being said, I don't think I'm doing a half bad job. That's just my opinion, which really don't amount to a hell of beans, really. But... I'm sure I could do it a lot worse. All right, bake, bake my, bake, bake my finger. We're almost there. Woo! All right. Let's see what we got going on. Smooth. No ridges, no dimples, no nothing. That's a good thing. With me, guys. We're going to get this closed up here. We're gonna close this up too, then I'll go back later and clean everything off. I don't like looking. Okay, so now. All right, so here's the nails. This one, I'm gonna shorten up a little bit more. Can you see? Just a smidgen more. Or maybe just round it, I don't know, a little bit like that. Maybe that's why it looks a little funky. No, I still think it needs a little, go down just a little bit. I think it'll be all right though. That's pretty dang close if you ask me. All right, what about this one? As you can see, my right hand compared to my nails all my fingers on my right hand are bigger except for my thumb um I don't know why this one is a little bit more narrow but it is but anyway these fingers on this hand and I don't know if that's could be because that's my dominant hand that's the hand that gets usually all the abuse to do it this way
Okay, we're getting there. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. Okay. Not bad. Okay. There's all that. All right. Okay, cool. Oh. I'll put that on after a bit. Okay. Oh, it makes that natural curve, C curve in our nails. That's what I was trying to achieve with those. <laughs> I call it the finger pinchers. It's because I got dry skin. Oh my God. My skin is so dry. And then putting all this on. Which is usually not a good thing. I found that out. Just let the file do all the work. Check everything to make sure that I like it. All right. There's that. Okay, we can bring this one down a little bit. Okay, perfect. Some people are probably looking at this, gonna look at this video and say, man, she's crazy. And yes, I am. I'm just not insane yet. Although people are pushing me to that point. There we go. I think just a smidgen more. I don't know why I doubt. It's just frustrating. Um, we already know that. And this is what I will sometimes do as well. I will take my nail drill because I always have to, I always go up and around my cuticle area to get that shine off, just to get the shine off. And then this way, doing it this way I can push up against the cuticle as long as I'm going slow and then um, I'm gonna lightly buff that because like I said I just want to shine off just so when I put the gel on so I'm not taking my apex out Let me just say for the record, I have learned so much, again, from watching the videos on YouTube, different people. Like I said, there's three particular gr groups of people that I watch. I admire these folks because they take the time out of their day and their education to teach us how to do it even if we're just DIY in it for like 
with me right now. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get the basics down. Okay. And I think for the most part everything looks good. Okay. Now BB is going to nail prep it again. Let's get all of the dust and more dust. And I'm sorry guys, this video is so long. I know no one will probably watch this one all the way through, and that's okay. I get it. But maybe you'll come back and finish watching it later after you went and watched something else for a bit. Okay. Okay. <laughs>